Engineering for me isn't as much an occupation as it's a lifestyle. I look at things differently every day. Uh, when I drive across a bridge, instead of looking at the car in front of me, I'm looking at how it was built. My, my job at this time is doing industrial marine and bridge structures and I've included in that projects including uh, trail bridges, uh, zip lines, cable cars, marinas, yacht shelters, things that aren't really typical of, of most structural engineers. The zip line at Kennedy River goes through a canyon and I could tell right from the onset that it was going to be an exciting place to ride. Well, when I first saw the site and uh, thought through what a zip line would be like, I realized it was going to be different than most zip lines. Most zip lines are in a very uh, uh, controlled, very artificial environment. This was going to be right on the edge. Uh, I could see the excitement that people would experience when they rode the zip line just because of where it was and, and what they'd see as they went through. The potential to get people just uh, riding through it, it was just amazing right from the onset. The issues really were in the field locating where we could anchor cables and what we could an anchor them to. Uh, so we spent considerable weeks, weekends, repelling into the canyon, finding the best spot where we could, we could anchor a cable to a rock and then look down the canyon and, and see where we could put the other end of the cable. So I used a simple little device called a clinometer. I would look down the canyon. I have to get myself positioned where the cable would start and look down through the canyon with a small optical device that would allow me to figure out what the angle and distance was. And from that, I'd get someone at the other end who was also hanging off a rope to take a red spray can and, and put a red dot on the rock and try to string those all together so that you could walk from one to another, get on a zip line, zip down to the next one. Uh, meanwhile, showcasing some of the really cool features of that canyon. So to get to those locations, we had to set up repelling ropes, and repel down into the canyon. Uh, at times, we kayak up the canyon under the falls, uh, all the while trying to figure out where we had the best places to anchor cables and the best scenery to present to the, uh, to the potential clients. Uh, so kayaking, repelling, rock climbing, all the things I love to do on the weekend, I got to do for work. Well, I like doing that, uh, maybe what you call frontier engineering. There's a, um, there's a personal gratification in it for me because it's very creative. Uh, and also, I love getting out and doing things out in the wilderness, doing things in this, in this environment we live in, uh, other than just building more buildings and more bridges and more roads. I think to be a really good engineer, you need to question everything you see. If you don't understand it, go home and Google it up and figure out what it is. Because uh, the learning doesn't come in school as much as it comes from every day, solving problems, seeing how other people solve problems, and using that to, to, to benefit your own engineering designs.